Hey guys, welcome back to Geek J, where we make tech, tutorials and gaming simpler and better. The OptiScaler devs have done it, Geek J squad. After their latest update, we can finally use OptiScaler with the newest version of Enshrouded. Woo! But the real kicker is, it works flawlessly with lossless scaling on my setup where it didn't before. We're talking about doubling your frames while fixing that blurry FSR mess. So stick around because I'm going to show you the exact lossless scaling multiplier settings to take this to the next level. So first things first, we need to download the latest version of OptiScaler. And right now, as I am filming this, you can only grab it from the devs Discord. And I'm going to have a link for that in the description below. So yeah, you click on that link, then you go and join their Discord server. And as you can see, OptiScaler v0.9.0 pre-8 test build is now released. You can see they have like a very uh, small change log but very important and uh, yeah you click any of these links and it will take you to the download location and we can click this and download it then what i usually like to do is go on my steam and then click on this cog icon over here that says manage then i select manage again and then go to browse local files and then you can see over here these are the folders in the main installation window of uh, Enshrouded and this is the location we want and then on the right side I usually navigate to where I have downloaded uh, whatever I need which is a folder on my desktop related to OptiScaler then a lot of other binaries, other tools and uh, DLSS Swapper and all that good stuff and as you can see we have an OptiScaler uh, folder over here and this is the latest version as you can see as of today 2026 uh, January the 6th so I right click then go to 7-zip and open archive and as you can see we have all the needed folders over here so we want to select everything except the files we won't be using so basically I just uh, select everything and then I uncheck licenses the extract all files to game folder and then the setup linux thingy over here and then it just uh drag and drop it into the installation uh location and then just replace everything so if you had optiscaler installed before uh first of all you need to uninstall it by running the dot bat file it's a uh, remove optiscaler dot bat and after that there are some files in here remaining so if the drag and drop tells you to overwrite some files just go ahead and overwrite everything it asks you to so basically it's just drag and drop then overwrite and you're basically done with the extraction it's super easy and now the important part we double click on the setup windows.bat file And then we will see a command prompt window uh, pop up over here, as you can see. So we need to pay real close attention here. We must select the wim.dll option because Enshrouded runs on Vulkan and wim.dll is the only wrapper that works correctly. So you need to select the option number two. So we type in number two and then we press on the enter button on our keyboard and now you also need to be very patient and read what you see on your screen it's not like a wall of text are you using an nvidia gpu or amd intel gpu i'm on amd so i'm gonna select option one if you're on nvidia you need to select obviously option two okay so i'm gonna go with option one because i'm running on an rx 6800 xt now we have the final question. Will you try to use DLSS inputs, which enables spoofing, requires for a DLSS frame generation, reflex becomes uh, anti-lag 2 for AMD cards, 
and all that stuff. If you want to change the setting later, edit OptiScaler INI. So basically it's telling us we can change this setting uh, in the future if we want by editing the INI file. I want to use the DLSS input, so I'm going to select option number one and then press enter again. And as you can see, OptiScaler setup is completed successfully. We can press any key to continue. And now that we've picked the options that match our hardware, we can practically launch the game. So let's go on ahead and do that. The bottom left of the screen, you can see the pop-up. So that means it has installed correctly, but does it actually work? So one way to make 100% sure this is working before you even load a world, you can go into settings and then display and if you see that you have a DLSS option over here, then you are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and load into my private world over here, which I use for testing purposes. So yeah, as you can see, we already have over 70 FPS over here. And uh, that's pretty good, especially for the location we are at. And if we press the insert key on our keyboard, you will be able to see that uh, we are running the 0.9.0 pre-8 version of OptiScaler and it has selected the default, which is FSR 2.2.1. We want to use XCSS because quality wise, it's uh, I think a lot better in most of the situations. So I'm going to go ahead and select that XCSS, change app scaler. And as you can see, the latest version of OptiScaler uh, brings to the table the latest the binaries, so we don't need to do uh, anything else. What I also like to do is maybe set up a limit over here so uh, we can uh, take advantage of uh, anti lag 2 and stuff like that. So apply limit when you uh, decide on what number uh, is the correct one for your setup. We're not going to get into that in this video. And as you can see, because we're using quality, the game actually tells us uh, it's upscaling from 720p to 1080p, which is the resolution of my monitor. And I'm going to save INI and close. And as you can see, we do have a less pixelated um, smoke and uh, mist around here. Uh, I don't know if this will translate correctly uh, when you're watching this video on YouTube because YouTube has its own compression on the videos. But anyway, it was a lot more pixelated when using FSR. I'm not going to even bother with FSR 3.1.4, which is the last uh, version of FSR that has uh, worked with Vulkan. Everything after that, even 3.1.5 does not work with Vulkan for some reason. It doesn't even have a binary for that. But anyway, I digress. So this is how the game runs. And you can see we actually have some humane FPS. And you have to also note that we are using a very, very uh, nice visual fidelity through the options. So I do have custom over here, but the overall quality I chose was quality and then I just maxed out the texture resolution as my GPU is a 16 gigabyte GPU and it never touches that amount of um, VRAM usage so loading up the textures doesn't really take away from the performance but yeah by running everything on quality and on XCSS quality it looks amazing and we're almost always over 60 FPS. So we get to have humane FPS without sacrificing visual fidelity just to gain two frames on this. So we could just stop here because everything is fixed, right? But we aren't stopping there. Here at GeekJ, we want the ultimate experience, right? So let's fire up lossless scaling. And as you remember before, in the previous versions with OptiScaler, it just didn't work. It was a horrible experience, but now it just works. So I'm gonna go on my Steam and launch 
lossless scaling. So for frame generation, I always select the LFG 3.1 mode i choose fixed and not adaptive and then the multiplier i set to two this is the most stable you can get it to run in most of the games basically the flow scale if you're on a 1080p monitor i would suggest you just max it out and then depending on your performance as you can see on the tooltip over there uh, you can set it to 75% or even 50% depending on the resolution you run the game. But if you're on 1080p, if you max the flow scale uh, to 100%, it's going to be completely fine. Now, super important, the capture API. It's going to default to DXGI because this is the old version and it was the one you should have selected until Windows 10, I think. But now the newest version is WGC and it vastly improves on how uh, it incorporates with the uh, game's API. So I would suggest you just go with WGC and then I leave everything else on their default settings. And obviously, as we are uh, using app scaling through OptiScaler, don't do anything at the scaling part over here on the right side. And then you just click scale. And then I'm gonna go back into the game and boom boys look at that it is actually super super battery smooth and as you can see we are upscaling and we have really really nice frames per second over here we're hovering around 125 130 fps depending on the base fps we're getting and because reflex which is basically translating to anti-lag 2 on AMD GPUs is enabled, we do not have any input lag, at least on my setup. So we now have XSS 2.0.2 handling the app scaling, replacing that FSR slot that devs haven't fixed, and we have battery smooth gameplay thanks to lossless scaling. If this helped you squeeze more frames out of your setup, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss another GeekJ video. If you want to take it further, consider joining the GeekJ squad for early access and exclusive perks or drop a super thanks if you're feeling generous. Massive shout out to my channel architects, Paris STR and Costa Dari. And yeah, as always, you're still legends. So drop your results in the comments. I read every single one of them. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.